Garden. I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julio Zamora. And it's that time of year again for your mailbox to be assaulted. Assaulted? <laughs> That's right. Your mailbox will soon be violated, pregnant, stuffed with lies, telling you how beautiful your lawn can be in only four easy steps. Oh, I get it. That's when every, every in the store suddenly tells you that they're an expert. Even though they usually sell lumber, not plants. That's right. That's right. Lumber is dead plants. That's right. (laughs) That's right. Um, But on today's episode of Bloomers in the Garden, we're going to discuss the truths and myths of the four-step lawn care program. So stay tuned, and we'll be back after this short break. Dreaming of a gorgeous garden? Give your azaleas, rhododendron, blueberries, and evergreens a powerful boost with the number one acid-loving plant food, Espoma Organic Hollytone. Hollytone is a perfect blend of natural long-lasting ingredients that nourish plants for stronger roots, faster growth, and bountiful blooms. Plus, it's easy to use and safe for people, pets, and planet. Visit Espoma.com for a retailer near you and helpful gardening tips. Espoma, a natural in the garden since 1929. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, Ed, so what do you get from a four-step program? Well, each one of them has a crabgrass preventer plus fertilizer. Oh, wow. You know, in a crabgrass preventer, there are different active ingredients, and that's something to be... You know, pay attention to. Now, right. top four-step programs. Number one is the Scott's four-step program. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about the one that actually has the step number on the bag. Okay. If you're buying or you're getting, quite honestly, tricked into thinking you're buying a step program when you're buying a, like, Halts plus Turf Builder Uh-oh. and then the Turf Builder with weed and feed, you know, right. those are not, not the real it. thing. No. The, the fertilizer in those bags are different. So mm-hmm. let's get that out of the way. Right. All crabgrass controls work basically the same, mm-hmm. but there's a difference in each one of the the active ingredients. Okay. So how they work, is that well, what you're going to well, look at? Well, let, let me explain what I mean by that. Mm-hmm. You need to water each one after the application oh, okay. because the way that it works, it puts a barrier in the soil and stops the crabgrass from germinating. Mm. And you have to get that barrier in the soil established so that it, it creates a like a shield from the crabgrass seed to come through. Oh, okay. All right? Really? Now, Scott's, mm-hmm. the, the number one selling step program Scott. That, again, it's the four-step program, and again, it's the one with the numbers on the bag. Yeah, you can't miss that, huh? No, yeah. you can't miss that, and you can't get tricked into right. buying Turf Builder mm-hmm. with Plus Halts because it's not right. the same product. Yeah. The active ingredient is, and they use pendomethalin. Pendomethalin is very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it needs to be put down before... The forsythias bloom. Now, can I ask you? What, yes, sir. What, what is pentamethylin? It's the crabgrass preventer. Oh, okay. It is the, the actual the actual name of the the, of chemical, the chemical that is used oh, to okay. prevent crabgrass. I have you. Okay. Yeah. Now, Jonathan Green right. uses dimension. Totally different. Totally different. Wow. Totally different. But does it do the same thing? Similar. Oh, okay. But what happens is if you put down the Scotts product uh-huh. and crabgrass is already germinate. Too bad. Oh. Doesn't work. No. It has to be go down beforehand where the dimension product that oh. is used within Jonathan Green. All right. Okay. Now that is a product that will 
control crabgrass after it's germinated and has already put out three leaves. Oh, It'll how about st- that? So it's kind of a post-emergent. Post-emergent, okay. Where cra- all crabgrass is pre-emergent. pre-emergent. You want to prevent it. Except for dimension? A dimension, again, a little different? You, you can time it a little later. So okay. in other words, if you miss it, it's like, oh, darn, I didn't get my crabgrass control okay. down. And I know that like it's it's really warm out. Right. It's, things have to be you know germinating. You do dimension. Oh, okay. Now, a new player Mm -hmm. that's been out the last few years is Bonide. Okay. A new one. Bonide's uh, always been on the cutting edge of technology, whether it's insect control, organics. Oh, okay. And they have got an off. It's a great product. You like that, don't you? I do. I do. It, it I, to be honest, eye. I mm-hmm. started doing the research for this show. Sure. And originally, it was like, well, <laughs> you know, Bonide is a great company. We'll mm-hmm. talk about it. Right. But I was so swayed because they're using uh, something that it, the trade name is Barricade. Barricade. As their crabgrass preventer. Oh, okay. And it's prodiamine is the actual chemical name. The chemical. But the point is, is it lasts for up to five months. Now, now five we months. do a spot Ooh. now for, for bonide. Right. But the problem that really happens with crabgrass control, if you put it down too early, crabgrass will still germinate in the spring in May. And your crabgrass controls are done. Now, why is that? Is it because it's too cold? or what? What ha- It can be. Okay. But also there could be crabgrass seeds that are just dormant and, and just uh, germinate later. Later on. It doesn't yeah. catch them. And it doesn't catch them because oh, wow. it's already leached through and, it, uh, and it's already gone. Gone. Uh. And that we often say, mm-hmm. and, and I still recommend this, right. put a second application of crabgrass control down. Oh, okay. You know, a four-step is only going to be good... It's a good start. Good start. Okay. It's a good start. Right. But so, it's not it's not going to do the whole job. Is that no, what you're saying? That's right. Okay. It, it it is the bare minimum. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Oh, okay. But there are things that are going to get into your lawn which we'll talk Ooh, about right. in a little bit. Mm-hmm. But again, it, it's who who's got what in their bag and and okay. how is it used? Um for instance, there's a Scott's product. Like the always dilemma is do you do you go and seed? You can't yeah. seed with a crabgrass control. Yeah. You have to wait until that crabgrass control is done because it will just basically look at it and say, "Hey, <laughs> you know, it's you know, here's just another no, weed no. that we want to control." Right. Unless, okay, mm-hmm. there is a product, and I know that Jonathan Green has one, and and so does Scotts, and it's a crabgrass control when seeding. Oh, okay, right. it is a um, it's the way the product that's in there is exclusive, and it's not inexpensive. It's pretty. You oh, know, is it? You're gonna pay. So what you're saying is, but that you can still control crab. It'll distinguish between a grass seed plant no and kidding. a crab gra- wow. or a seed and a crabgrass seed. So it does that. It does that. Wow. You know, and you can go and and put that down and seed at the same time. At the same time. Oh. But I only recommend that if you've got like large mm-hmm. bear patches, mm-hmm. um, a lot of those bear patches are going to be because there was dead crabgrass there. Oh. Okay. So, depending on how bad your lawn is, okay. if you've got to do a renovation, mm-hmm. I recommend using the crabgrass control plus starter fertilizer. Oh, okay. Make sure that when you're at the store, and this is why you go to your garden centers, mm-hmm. they will tell you, it's like, yes, you can seed with this one. No, you can't mm-hmm. seed with that one. Right. So you'll actually get the advice that you need. Right. Now, now let's say that you uh, seed it in the fall. Is that going to be a problem when you start putting down step one or not? As long as the seed germinated in the fall. Oh, okay. Okay. If it, right. if it hasn't been germinated yet, then it's going to stop that seed too. Oh, okay. I got you. You know, again, I, I'm I'm all all about that uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> that new uh, product that's in the bonite phase one, uh-huh. the prodiamine. It 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 lasts Longer. long, but you've got to get it down where dimensions properties. If you you know mess up and you don't uh-huh. have the time to put it down right uh-huh. away, you can put it down a little bit later and you'll later. still get some control. But I still would recommend mm-hmm. putting a second application of crabgrass sure. control in say May, whether you're using the oh, okay. dimension product that's in the Jonathan Green step right. one, or if you're using the Scott's product, I would put down a second application. Oh, I see. 
You know, and there's something that we don't talk about, yeah, too. We, we don't talk about fertilizer. Oh, yeah, we don't. Now, you know, the fertilizer that's in there is really what matters. Mm-hmm. Your lawn's a little hungry from waking up after the winter. Sure. You know, and like, let's say Scott's, for instance, is a twenty eight zero seven. Wow. Up, down, all around, right, Julio? Yes, it so, is. So yep. give me, give me, let's see how your memory's doing. Okay. <laughs> what does that stand yeah. for? 2807. 28 is the nitrogen, right? Right. And then you got the phosphorus in the center. Yep. All right. And then you got the potash or potassium at the end. Right. Very good. Yeah, NPK, Very good. they call that, right? That's right. <laughs> NPK. And yeah. and where a lot of them, uh, you'll find that center number used to be have something in there. Now it's uh, they have seen that it has uh-huh. been an issue, so they're really, really zero phosphate fertilizers okay. have been used quite often. Right. Now, now, most of these companies, they all have just about the same kind of numbers or, or similar. A different similar similar like um let's see uh-huh. um like jonathan green it, it's it, they're all going to be similar it's going to be higher in nitrogen because you want to get a good boost like right. the bonide the, but there is a difference the bonide product which really swayed me okay. isn't just the prodiamine but the fact that it has that extra micronutrient package oh yes where, like you said, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, right. that that's usually what's in the bag of fertilizer. Mm-hmm. Now, it's really the got basics. that extra micronutrients that aren't in the, the other, other brands. Oh, uh, okay. So, wow. it, it, extra, they're working hard. A little extra boost, huh? They're working hard. I mean, <laughs> yeah. again, Jonathan Green, uh-huh. Dimension, Dimension, great product. Mm. You've got to be aware that it may not last long enough for all crabgrass. Right. The, but... But, but, you but like what yeah, you like? I tell you what, the bonites, yeah. it's good stuff. Right. It's very it good. It is. It is. It's very good. And yeah. so, listen, it, go out to your garden centers when you're ready. Go out to your garden centers. Ask them if uh, they're carrying the bonite product and yeah. give it a look. Yeah. Give it a look. Oh, well. You know, there's nothing wrong with the other two products, mm-hmm. but, you know, good, better, best scenario. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Sure. So consider bonite. That's right. Consider a little bonite. extra. A little extra huh? <laughs> that is. That is. All right. In go. the next segment coming up, we're going to talk about weed and feed. That's, again, broadleaf weed control. So we'll be back and talk about step two right after this. Did crabgrass and other grassy weeds take over your lawn last year? Prevent crabgrass and other grassy weeds from ruining your lawn by applying Bonide's DuraTurf Crabgrass Preventer today. Just apply Bonide's Crabgrass Preventer, available with or without fertilizer, and that will stop the crabgrass and grassy weeds from growing in your lawn for up to five months. Do you want your lawn dark green and healthy looking all season long? You need to use Bonide's DuraTurf four-phase lawn program throughout the year. Our four-phase program rids your lawn of over 200 broadleaf and grassy weeds, including crabgrass, nut sedge, and dandelions. This program will also take care of surface insects, such as fleas and ticks, while slowly feeding your lawn throughout the year. Bonide offers up to a $35 gift certificate to the store where the Bonide 4-Phase Lawn Program was purchased. You can also buy the 4-Phase individually as you need them throughout the year. Bonide products are family-made in America. Find a DuraTurf Lawn Program at these fine stores. Bucks Country Gardens, Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Lehigh Valley Home and Garden, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Lynn Villa Orchards, Media, Pennsylvania. Well, we're back. We're back. So, covered step one. Yes, we did. All crabgrass control. There is an available product from Scott's and Jonathan Green that is a crabgrass preventer plus starter fertilizer that will distinguish between grass seed and crabgrass seed. Not going to get the same results that you would out of a regular crabgrass control, but it still mm-hmm. is better than doing nothing, and you right. still get some control on those grassy That's weeds because once they're in there, they're hard to get out. Oh, okay, so they're hard to get out. You're getting a good start, is that what right. you're saying? Okay. Right, and you're you basically are not going to see it work. This is one product you'll never see it work because uh-huh. it's going to stop something from coming up. Oh, I see. All right, mm-hmm. you'll only know sure. when it doesn't. When work. it doesn't. Work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so step two: step weed and two. feed. Mm-hmm. Weed and feed. Easy. Weed and feed. Talked about all the time. Right. But they're all basically the same weed control. Uh-huh. So the only, they're all using 2,4-D and dicamba. There's, you know, maybe a touch of something here, a sprinkle of this here, but it's all basically the same, same weed thing. control. Uh, okay. Difference 
between crabgrass. Now, how do we talk about watering? With you have to water in your crabgrass control. Guys. So right? this one, this one, this is... one, you want to have the leaves wet so that that weed control sticks to the leaves. Oh, I see. Totally different. Totally different. Mm-hmm. You water one in, but this one you don't. Right. This one you go and you want it to sit on top of the plant so that it kills those weeds. This doesn't prevent weeds. It kills them. So you want to make sure that it's wet and that sticks to the foliage. Right. You oh, don't yeah. want to water it in. You want it to stick on top of there and just mm-hmm. let it dry, and then that works through and will kill the so weeds. So you have to take your hose out. Or is that- <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know, early part of the day when there's a little Her- bit of dew, right. that's right. the ideal spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, so if they're all the same active ingredient, so what makes them different? Huh. I would say the, the actual numbers. Right. right. There you go. NPK. NPK, yeah. NPK. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, nitrogen is always big, huh? Yeah. Nitrogen uh, is uh, because the grass plants need more nitrogen than, than any other mm-hmm. to survive So, um, and to look good. To look good. It's all about slow nitrogen, though. Slow. In that you want to look mm-hmm. for a water-insoluble nitrogen right. or slow-release nitrogen. Mm-hmm. Um, Scott, now are you going to get that from all the companies? Yes. Slow they, release? Again, that's the difference between a actual step, like the Scott Step program, uh-huh. where the, versus a turf builder turf product. Builder. The amount of nitrogen that releases is going to be a little bit different, so it'll be slower on the step programs. Oh, okay. So you're getting a better product from you step are. one. You absolutely are. Mm-hmm. You are. Um so and step two and step two, yes. yep. All of all, all of, of the step programs are their best products, right? The ones that have the numbers on the bag and say step, those are going to be the best products mm-hmm. as far as fertilizers oh, that's go. That's good to know. Okay, so Scotts has water insoluble nitrogen. Um, there's uh, the water insoluble nitrogen uh, again. Also, Jonathan Green slow release. Slow release. Great product. Wow. Uh, but then we go back to to bonide, mm-hmm. where four point eight percent slow release nitrogen, and it's a polymer coated. Now this yeah. is similar to Jonathan Green, a polymer coated fertilizer. We oh. talked about this the, the other day. Osmocote, right? Osmocote. Polymer yes. coated mm-hmm. fertilizer. Right. That is exactly. Uh, what is in the bonide product? Bonite so it's not it's not osmocote, but it's a polymer coated fertilizer. Mm-hmm. And what's the difference between that and other types of nitrogen? Well, the other ones don't have that um, that slow release that you, that you get, right? But also, has that urea? It doesn't release. Okay, polymer coated releases from heat. Oh, okay. So. Rather than water, like say we have a rainy spring mm-hmm. and you're not using a polymer coated nitrogen source, it's all releasing. It's, it's all gone. Released. It's gone. Oh. It's gone. Where a polymer coated, and it's not all polymer coated, there's a portion of right. it that's polymer coated. That polymer coated fertilizer is releasing slow. Okay. Okay. Right. That's why Osmocote is so good. That's why, again, the, the Jonathan Green product and the Bonide product have that polymer, polymer coating in part of their nitrogen, so it's a slow release. Right. Oh, that's excellent. Yep. Excellent product. Excellent, excellent yep. product. Um, now, we go back to bonide. Now, now I, I, I sound like a stooge. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Bonide is a sponsor. That's right. They're a sponsor. We like bonide. Oh, yeah, They're a great company. Oh. But uh, oh. I did not bring in their fertilizer, their lawn fertilizer. Right. I didn't like the packaging. I said it looks like uh-huh. a, a you know a hardware store. Oh, and, boy. <laughs> but doing the research, oh. boy, you know it's you can't beat it, huh? No, I can't. Oh, uh, you like I, that? I, oh. I, I, let me. Let, I just want to make sure that everybody uh-huh. understands that right? we didn't intend on carrying it at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center. Really? Wow. No, and that it wasn't until I did this show that I you, you know dug I, deep in and you I, said and oh. I called our distributor and said hey. We need to carry this, and it and it's <laughs> all because great. of of the nutrient package. Oh yeah, you know the nutrient package that they put in, and it's a micronutrient package. That's the key. That's the key. Um, again, that it, it it's elements that the lawn needs to grow that it doesn't get 
from regular nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. To me, that's the that's a winner. Mm-hmm. That's a sure. winner. You're talking uh, boron, copper, yep. things like that. Yep, iron, iron. manganese, molybdenum, and zinc. Wow. Now those things are not in any of the other fertilizers. There might be some iron mm-hmm. thrown in there, mm-hmm. but again, it it's got that package in there. So I mean, it's just it's the real deal. Yes, it is. It is real. More deal. nutrients, better. Yep. Growth, better uh, yep. green, better so, everything. Yeah. Now, you know, the, there's a little bit of a departure uh-huh. on the different uh, fertilizers in step three. Oh, and, is. you know, after this break, we'll talk about step three in the annual lawn program. Oh, wow. Right after this. Ooh. Stay tuned. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix with EcoPeat is the perfect ready-to-use potting mix for all your succulents. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix is a blend of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and eco-peat. Eco-peat is a natural wood fiber from peat bogs. When added to fertilome peat moss, it produces a superior professional substrate with an exceptional ratio of air porosity and water holding capacity. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix will ensure maximum drainage with ideal water retention. It's simply the best succulent mix on the market. Ask for Fertilone by name at your local garden center. Available at Daniel's Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Gasper's Home and Garden, 316 Tanyard Road, Richboro, PA. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomer's Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomer's to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person, and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event, and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited, so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information, go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. All right, we're back. And uh, we're here now talking about step three. Yes, we are. And it's a big divide here between all the companies in their land. That is. It used to be that every company on their third step had an insect control um, to keep costs down. Scott's went and put in a great fertilizer. Uh, It's all fertilizer. It has a pretty high percentage of of iron. Mm -hmm. And iron makes your lawn real, real green. So it's it's a good fertilizer. All of these products, Mm -hmm. step three, are excellent. Excellent. Um, on their own, but there's some differences. Okay. And again, this is where the departure is. It's a four step is a good start, but it's not the, you know, all three of these products could be used in your lawn yeah. at the okay. same time, the same to be time. honest with wow. you. Um, so let's, let's start off with Scott's again. Right. 2% iron, high nitrogen rate, 3204. Wow. Um, again, great fertilizer, going to green it up. Mm-hmm. Through feeding it, big time, <laughs> yeah. But uh, again, there's a wow. a difference when you get to some of the other other uh, companies. Like for instance, mm-hmm. the Bonide product, 
And again, I am not a stooge. We have <laughs> editing rights to everything. That's right. It has been, um, they're using a insecticide called uh, Bifenthrin. It's a, it's a uh, good surface insect control. Right. It's, you know, it's going to maybe do some grubs, but it's really going to control things like chinch bugs, mm-hmm. which are a major problem. Like if your lawn ever is like, looks like it's yellow no matter how f- much fertilizer you put on it there are a lot of um, times it could be just wow. chinch bugs sucking the life oh, out of it boy. um crickets crickets ants yeah. it's going to do a lot of mm. the ticks and mm. fleas and and sure. surface feeding insects not necessarily mm. li- like grubs it's not going to be the best choice for grubs not for grubs no so you again it's a four step program it's a good start right if you have a grub issue or you have problems with grubs or you see Japanese beetles everywhere, right. you're going to go and put down a separate product that oh. has an imidacloprid in it. Um, there's going to be different choices that you have. Oh, but, I see. But right yeah. now, don't think that step three, oh, I've got my grub control down. It's not it. You don't. That's not it. Huh? You don't. You, gotta go spe- you kind of have to go specialize. Is that what you're saying? You do. Mm-hmm. Your lawn has to be... Your prawn program is not four steps. Right. Let's just get it out of the way. Right. You're going to be at least six. Right. So, okay, bonai, good fertilizer, micronutrient wow. package, wow. and it has a surface feeding insect control. That's so, very good. Very good. Yeah, That's very right. Good. Okay. Now, Jonathan Green. Mm-hmm. Now, Jonathan Green's got it together. Yeah, I say I do. They do. <laughs> they, they, they have – they're – they have come up with something that was called a great American lawn. Oh, wow. And it talks about exactly the same thing Julio and I believe in is the fact that you have to feed the soil. That's right. You have to feed the soil. Yeah. And that for their third step, mm-hmm. they have something that's called Magical, Magical Plus. Plus. And in this area, for lawns in, exce- in acidic and hard, hard soil. soil. Wow. Okay. Huh. They combine two of their best Gosh. products. Mm-hmm. Okay, Magical. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Magical Plus for lawns and acidic and hard soil is Magical Plus Love Your Soil. Wow. They just did that, didn't they, Done. They did. This is the first year for first, it. This is the first time. Yep, wow. first time for it. That's great. So with Magical, you get the the pH controlled oh, that's so wow. that your pH gets to 7 mm-hmm. where it's optimum. Right. But again, it depends on what your pH is. Most of your garden centers out there will do a soil test That's for right. you. Mm-hmm. Um, call your local garden center. Ask mm-hmm. them to do a soil test. You need yeah. to do it. And this Definitely. product also, you could put it down at any time. Any time. Any time. You could put it down in the spring. You could put it down in the fall. It now, doesn't really matter. Now, it's, what do you recommend, Len, as far as that goes? I mean, uh, you know, some people. Do your soil test right away. Get it get, get it, it done quick. early. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you find out, again, what your pH is, then you have a place to start. Right. What happens with pH? It's it's super important. Mm-hmm. None of your fertilizer in your uh, any of the bags that you're putting out, you're wasting money mm-hmm. if your pH is off. Wow. What happens is the fertilizer gets locked up in the soil if your pH is too acidic, mm-hmm. and that's what most of the time it is here. Right. So if it's too acidic, none of the grass plants can absorb the nutrient value out of your fertilizer. Wow. Not good. Again, to go back to mm-hmm. my lawn, I keep putting fertilizer down and nothing's boom, right. Boom, boom, boom. Have you done anything to adjust mm-hmm. the pH? Right. And Magical offers calcium mm-hmm. that, That's great. like dolomitic limestone, is just mm-hmm. basically crushed limestone, and it does... Ha, does eventually raise your pH, but it takes a long time. Uh-huh. So Magical is what we recommend to raise your pH because mm-hmm. you get the benefits of calcium, and that that's a huge benefit to your soil. Big big time. So again, it's not just a a limestone; you're getting uh, a nutrient right. as well. And uh, you're saying it's this is a quick. Uh, yes, works fast. Works quick. Okay. Works works fast. All right. um, now, in the product that they combined, where it used to be, you know, love your soil. Uh-huh. Now that they still are separate, they're still available separate, uh-huh. but they combined them in one bag. Uh-huh. Easy as the third step. third step. Love your soil is again; it's feeding the soil. Uh-huh. 
mm-hmm. right? Right. Mike, it, it, what it's going to do is have mycorrhizae activity. It's going to improve that wow. soil so that your grass plants can absorb the nutrients. The nutrients. Wow. There you go. Critical. Right? Critical, huh? Like, Absolutely. It's something like that saying, you, you don't lose, even think about. You lose 20 to 7 percent of your lawn food if you know, you're wasting it if you don't get the pH right. Yeah. Right. You got to get your pH wow. right. Wow. First thing, before First you thing. even put step one down, get your pH tested and do take uh-huh. sa- samples from all over your lawn, put it in a baggie, bring it into to the garden center That's and have right. them check it. There you go. Good job. Yep. 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 And again, so mm-hmm. what I would do, yep. I would put down probably mm-hmm. I'd go with bonide product. Right. Same day, I'd put down the Magical Plus Magical. for lawns and acidic and hard soil. Okay. Right? And yeah. then... Again, it depends on what your pH is because you might have to do a second application or even a third. You could do them both the same day. Wow. Without because it's again, it's going to feed it a different way. Yeah, isn't that great? Wow. It is. That's it is good so, combination. Great. Yeah. Great products. Excellent in clay soil. Mm-hmm. It's a great, great product. It is. Um, all right. Coming up next, we're going to mm-hmm. talk about the. The last step, the fourth step. Fourth step. Yeah, so your fall fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Did crabgrass and other grassy weeds take over your lawn last year? Prevent crabgrass and other grassy weeds from ruining your lawn by applying Bonide's DuraTurf Crabgrass Preventer today. Just apply Bonide's Crabgrass Preventer, available with or without fertilizer, and that will stop the crabgrass and grassy weeds from growing in your lawn for up to five months. Do you want your lawn dark green and healthy looking all season long? You need to use Bonide's DuraTurf four-phase lawn program throughout the year. Our four-phase program rids your lawn of over 200 broadleaf and grassy weeds, including crabgrass, nut sedge, and dandelions. This program will also take care of surface insects, such as fleas and ticks, while slowly feeding your lawn throughout the year. Bonite offers up to a $35 gift certificate to the store where the Bonite four-phase lawn program was purchased. You can also buy the four-phase individually as you need them throughout the year. Bonite products are family-made in America. Find a DuraTurf lawn program at these fine stores. Feeney's, Feasterville, PA. Dublin Agway, Dublin, PA. Magnolia Gardens, Magnolia, New Jersey. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomers Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomers to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. All right. We covered step one, step two, step three. Now we're at step four. Four, last step. Yeah, it's that last step. Step four is basically a really good fall fertilizer. Any of the brands... 
Scott's, Jonathan Green, mm-hmm. Bonite. Nice. You're going to have a good fall fertilizer. Good. It's uh, it builds root systems. It, mm-hmm. it is a great fertilizer to use when seeding. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. But that's not what I want to talk about. Listen, that last step, that that last step, you you need to, you know, you need to put down. But it, it's all about what's going on during the rest of the year. You know, you may have to do other steps that uh-huh. are, we're not talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, um, again, it, like for instance, the Jonathan Green step three could actually be incorporated into any of the step programs from Bonide or from Scott's oh, okay. that you need to use it. Cause again, you, if your pH is off, is your fertilizer working? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Done. Your fertilizer's <laughs> locked up You're in there. no matter how much fur can't no, move. Right. <laughs> no, it can't be absorbed uh, into the plant right. because the pH is off and it's oh. locked up in the soil. Yeah. So you need to get your pH corrected. Right. Look, every independent garden center or most independent garden centers, they will do a soil test for you to let you know where you are and how much of the product you need in order to get your pH corrected. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, just bring it in. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's something that you don't have to be burdened with. That's right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but you need to know. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll burden you right now. Go find out. Yeah, see yeah. what you see what mm-hmm. see where you're at. Yeah. Now, Hollytone in the landscape bed your landscape shrubs want to have an acidic situation. Sure. The majority of them, yeah. you know, rhododendrons, azaleas, rhododendrons, all evergreens, yeah. the majority of them all want that, but yeah. not in your not lawn. Not in your lawn, no. That's, uh, not in your lawn. That's a big no-no. Not in your lawn. Mm-hmm. So step four, uh, they're going to be very similar. Like, for instance, in the Scott step four, it's a 32 Two, wow. zero twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a great way to strengthen your lawn before winter comes in. It's they're doing they're all doing the same thing. Same thing. You know, bonite again, I'm giving bonite an edge because oh, yeah. it has that nutrient package. Why'd Alexa call it? You know, <laughs> it, it's it's got that nutrient package mm-hmm. to where it's gonna be again, boron, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and zinc. All in there that's a, that are that your grass needs in small quantities, and generally they get it through the breakdown of thatch and in other ways. But yeah. this is giving it to them. Yeah. You know, this is basically spoon feeding it, yeah, and, a it little extra. and it's a it is yeah. a little extra. Yeah, a little extra. <laughs> yeah. Now the Jonathan Green fall. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the Jonathan Green winterizer. Perfect fertilizer um, for turf protection. It's got a little bit of iron. Thirty percent slow release nitrogen. Mm. That is more impressive to me than than some of the wow. others because it's going to green it up in the spring as well. Wow! So some of that fertilizer will be actually uh, be available to it in in the spring. So it's a great. Oh wow! Contains humates. Just keep, keeps going. You know, you've heard of humates, humates, humus, hummus, humus, hummus. hummus yeah. Yep. Not hummus. That's hummus? what you eat. Oh, that's right. That's what you eat. <laughs> no wonder I like what, it. are you hungry? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> no, humus. <laughs> there you go. And humus. again, it's perfect for fall seeding. It's probably oh, it's probably man. the best uh, just raw NPK. It plus it's not some, some other, you know, it's got some other uh, micronutrients that are available as well. Um, again, you're not going to get everything yeah. out of your – step program you're gonna to have to do other other things and we're gonna talk about that we need to, yeah. to spend some time in the next segment talking about what you need to do besides the four step right and we'll talk about that right after this the bird sanctuary at bloomers home and garden center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds we carry a flock of feeders like the brome squirrel proof feeder which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Cole, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower, peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. 
Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomers in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomers Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomers Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomers to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person, and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event, and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited, so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information, go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, Ed, the four-step program is a great program to start with, but it's not all that you need, right? No, no, it isn't. You know... Let's let's talk about crabgrass control. Step one, right? It's pretty sure. much the first thing you do. Right. But again, we can't tell you enough to go get your pH checked. Mm. That should be the first thing you do, Boom. and then get that addressed before you put down step one. Now, great. Yeah. Depending on what you use, mm-hmm. we're going back. Scott's product and the and the bone eye product okay. need to put down before the crabgrass has germinated. Mm-hmm. Crabgrass germinates. Temperature is about right. fifty degrees. Right. And that soil temperature, you can time it with forsythia. Put it down, you, you know, when you see the forsythia is beginning to swell. That's always a good, you know, good, good plan. But where Jonathan Green is, if you miss it, you'll get control. Mm-hmm. I would suggest putting down a second application of crabgrass control mm. in, say, May. So you get another shot. It prevents other grassy weeds oh, besides crabgrass. Mm-hmm. So it extends that, you know, almost through into the summer nice. and then you're Very done. Nice. And think about it, how crabgrass control works. Uh-huh. Crabgrass control puts a barrier in barrier. the soil. Right. All right. And then the crabgrass tries to grow and it sprouts and it hits that barrier and kills oh. it. So you're eliminating crabgrass seed. Mm-hmm. So once you get that all cleaned up, your lawn will be easier to take care of. Oh, that's great. Yep. So you're saying two months after you've you've applied that first one, right? Yeah. Keep yep. Taking, I, I, put another I, one in. That's what I suggest. Yeah, that's great. Okay. The other thing is that mm-hmm. you're going to have disease problems. Oh, yeah. A four-step mm-hmm. program does not address disease, disease issues. At all. Nope. Mm-hmm. At no. all. I got that. Um, depending on how hot and humid it is. Mm-hmm. But the oh. worst culprit is if you have a sprinkler system. Oh. <laughs> you got your, yeah, that's it. You know. Um, Wetness. Listen, water. Mm-hmm. More at one time and less often. Don't put it on every day for 10 minutes, okay? Yeah. Don't oh. do that. Please, yeah. please. Um, you're going to want to use a, like, for instance, Bonite, again, has a really good uh, disease control, disease control. Uh, mm. right? Perfect for lawns. It also will, can be used on perennial flowers and things like that. It's called Infuse. Oh, wow. That's great. Yep. It is systemic. Systemic. What does systemic mean? Can you? It works uh through the root systems, and it works its way up 
into the plant itself. That's right. Makes like an antibiotic. Yes. Makes the plant resistant to the uh, disease. Yeah. So I like that time that type of uh, Me too. disease uh, control. Lasts longer. Oh yes. Lasts longer. Mm-hmm. Lasts longer. You know, and it takes care of the problem. <laughs> what I would do is just count on putting it down in June. June. Put it down Boom. in June. There you, go. you know, kids are out of school. It's time there for disease control. There you go. Write that down. Put it on your calendar. <laughs> That's right. Land. right. That's right. Yeah. And then again, put it down in August. That's right. When the June. heat of the summer's kicking Boom. in. Boom. Oh. All right. So Humidity, right? That's right. Wow. That's right. And then this will control it. There you go. This will control it. So again, disease control, mm-hmm. infuse from, from Bonide. Bonide. Um, there are other brands out there mm-hmm. that you can use, but you want to try to get something that's systemic. Right. Okay. That's the best. If, if you have a major problem mm-hmm. and you go into the garden center and you go, look at my lawn, it's dying, it's all covered and this... You may have to use something else. You may have to actually spray something on it because right. it will work faster because mm-hmm. systemics work a little slower. And, again, it all depends what's going on. But if you use it as a preventative, you won't have that issue. Oh, okay. Great. All right? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Root feeding insects like grubs. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bifenthrin is not going to control that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's going to basically, you're going to need to use something else. Going to go deeper. Is that what you're saying? Uh, correct. Than per- correct. Mm-hmm. Now, both Jonathan Green and Bonide, both of their products. Now, the Jonathan Green product is grub and insect control. Right. Bonide is insect, insect and grub, grub control. control. They flip it around. <laughs> but it's the exact same product because uh, they use a combination of imidacloprid and lambda, lambda to control the grubs. How about that? And you notice that bifenthrin is the one that's in the STEP program for Bonide. That's going to do yeah. surface insects, but it's not going to control and knock out those grubs. Grub, yeah. So, again, both of those products together, and again, the active ingredient mm. is imidacloprid and Lambda to control grubs, mm. 25 different lawn pests, um, surface. It does have some surface um, control as well, oh, but great. it also, it's going to be for um, mostly for grubs and any of the root feeding mm. insects. Wow. And that's what you really want. And again, is that a systemic lens? It, it, I, yes, it is a mm. systemic. Okay. And the way that it, it, you need to put it down at the right time, okay? Mm-hmm. You can put it pretty much down any time, but your best application, mm-hmm. probably July when it starts getting hot through October, depends on how, you know, you have a, if you have an issue or not. You can always tell you have grubs because right. you go out to your lawn and it's, there's a dead section and it rolls up just uh, like sod. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, what, what are most grubs? Oh, Japanese they, uh, beetles. Bat- Japanese beetles, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. So... You know, if all of a sudden you've got Japanese beetles all, all over the place, oh, you know. they're either laying eggs, uh-huh. they could be flying over your lawn uh-huh. to lay eggs. So, you know, it often Shoot. say the 4th of July, what happens is that, that you all of a sudden get a, you know, <laughs> an <laughs> influx. The, the Japanese beetles come to your 4th of July party. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's right. But, you know, I don't want to miss just saying this. Jonathan Green is, again, they are, they are great. They're a great company, great they family great. company. Yeah. Um, you know, there are actually greens that still work in, in their oh, company. Really? So wow. again, there, there's Barry senior, junior. I mean, it, oh, it is man. great, great company, Yeah. but they have an organic insect control. Oh. It works by repelling insects. So, and it's used, let me, let me, you know, it sounds like something I'd put on my salad. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. It's uh, yeah, plant right. oils using thyme and wintergreen. Oh. And yeah. it has no adverse effects on mammals, birds, or fish. So oh. so those of Safe. you that want to look for an organic alternative, the product from Jonathan Green is perfect. Yes. It's perfect for that. Perfect, it, yeah. But it repels insects. You may not get the control on grubs, but it's a, a darn good product oh, for yes. mm-hmm. for going in and choosing something that that is, is different. Good. It is different, yeah, and it, and and it takes care of the family too. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt yep. anybody there or your your pets. If you're concerned about you know, yeah, that's going out absolutely, there. Mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, there's uh, a lot of people care more about their pets than than, yeah. the kid, <laughs> than right. kids. It's to be honest, not, that's right. <laughs> and that's something. You know, it, oh my. Um, and the way that it, it it does, it's it's a repellent, but it also it does have a a 
killing ab- killing availability effect. in okay. that product. So right. look look for it in your garden centers. Mm-hmm. And again, it's that organic uh, insect control, control from Jonathan Green. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, but it's all about pH. Yes, it is, isn't it? If if you mm-hmm. are not getting your pH uh, adjusted, your lawn is not going to look good because right. the fertilizer that you're putting down, right. you might as well just throw it in the trash. You throw you can, money away, huh, Len? That's right. If your pH is yeah. correct, <laughs> and, and a neutral pH is what you're after mm-hmm. for the grass, that's right. and that's what it wants. It wants to be at a neutral pH, and then the fertilizer can be absorbed right. by the grass plants. Right. Yeah. How important How important is that? Huge. Huge. It's yeah. everything. It's, a, yeah. it's everything. It's everything. Right. I would say it's like going to, to mm-hmm. like the best restaurant okay. and getting your meal brought to you, but then they put a glass thing over it and you can't get to it because <laughs> right. you can't eat it. Oh, my God. And it's the same idea. It's that, that's right. You know, you, you don't want uh, yeah, you to don't be want throwing that. good fertilizer yeah, out right. the window because you haven't gotten your pH taken oh, care oh, of. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, after this, we're going to mm-hmm. review what we've been talking about. And we'll be joining you in just a moment. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. Here we are. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, wow. Well, we learned that this, this is a confusing topic, and people spend a fortune uh-huh. early uh, on step programs, and we just mm-hmm. want to be very, very clear, right. okay? The four step is a good start, mm-hmm. but is not the complete solution for mm-hmm. every problem that you will have with your lawn. That's right. Yep. And um, Jonathan Green, right, has a unique third step. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really important for us to let you know about. Yep. And uh, the magical magical plus. Magical plus. Magical plus. It addresses pH, pH. but it also adds. Uh, different micro nutrients. Organ- nutrients into the soil. So it's mm-hmm. feeding your soil. Yeah. I don't care which four step you yeah. choose, put that step down. Right. You said right from the get go. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Boni, the new kid on the block, uh-huh. has that great micronutrient package. It, uh, that, yeah. is, that is what separates it. Yeah. From the others, yeah. and I tell you what, and and again, uh-huh. in that step three, it has the insect control for surface feeding insects, where uh-huh. the other the other two don't. Mm-hmm. And the real Scotch step program, which we carry, right, right, as That's opposed right. to the other stores that carry only the uh, the turf other, builder, the turf builder, right. And uh, so, don't be fooled, okay. You got to get the step program one, two, three, and four from Scotts, right, because the fertilizer in it last longer and right. is better and you'll have an right. extension of that fertilizer right. yep. slow release as opposed right. to the regular turf builder product it, it mm-hmm. it's a decent fertilizer but it is yep. not, not a true step program right yeah so go out to your local garden centers mm-hmm. and ask them and they'll help you decide which is the best four step for you and make mm-hmm. sure you ask about the bonide four phase program I tell you what, with that micronutrient package, I'm pretty impressed. Mm, yeah. uh, you know, really. Again, we weren't going to carry it. Sorry, Jim Woods, but yeah. we are bringing it in now because it yeah. is an impressive product. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now, just remember, the four-step program doesn't address its soil pH, right? The right. disease control, nope. right? Or the true grub control. So the four-step is just a, a place to start. That's right. So remember, you know, your four-step is a start. And that, then you got to hit the other ones, the soil pH. That's right. And disease control and the grub control to right. go with that. And like Jonathan Green said, feed the soil, feed, feed the, the soil. soil. You can't miss next week's show oh, with yeah. Dr. Armitage. Mm-hmm.
Hey, he's given our listeners a discount on his books. So yes, go to www.alanarmitage.net. We're going to have a great show talking about he has become a world-renowned plantsman. Oh, wow. And don't forget Flower Show Flower starts show. Oh, today. Yeah. Flower Show. Don't miss it. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. We appreciate all that you do. And thanks for listening. And call that hotline if you've got questions. We're here to answer. And we'll see you in the garden. See you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com.